Welcome, this is Mrs. Rubright, and today we are going to be learning how to copy and bisect segments and angles. This is an algebra, oh actually, no sorry, this is a geometry honors lesson on page 33 in the Larson textbook. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna learn how to copy a segment. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is we need to start with a segment. Let me grab. And we're going to need a protractor and a compass. All right, so <clears throat> here is my segment that they gave me that's provided, and I'm going to copy this. I'm going to make an exact duplicate of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put point C, and I'm going to draw out a line. Then, I am going to put the sharp part on the A, bring my pencil out to the B to measure its little A, right? And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put the sharp part on the C, and I'm gonna make a little arc. And now they're exactly the same length. Here's my D, and now my segment is copied. They are both the same length. Pretty simple. All right, so let's try to bisect a segment. So we need to start with a segment. And in order to bisect the segment, I'm going to put the sharp part on the A. I'm going to open it up a little bit more than halfway. I'm going to do an arc above, arc below. You can either do arc above, arc below, or you can connect them. It's, it's just personal preference. Put the sharp part on the B, arc above, arc below, or you can make the, the full curve. It's personal preference. Mark where those curves intersect, those arcs intersect. And now you are going to use your straight edge to, draw, to connect those two points. And this segment is now bisected into two equal parts. This is our midpoint. Next, <coughs> we're going to copy an angle. Okay, so we need to start with an angle. Let's start with angle A. I'm just going to draw an angle. And in order to copy this, I need to create a vertex. I'll call it D. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do to angle A is I'm going to make an arc. So I'm going to go like that. And that arc, I'm going to call this point B and this point C. So now, on my copying my angle. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the one of the legs, right? One of the legs. Then I'm going to take my um, compass and I'm going to keep it open to the same amount that I did here. Put the sharp part on the D and make that same arc. Okay, so now I know where this point goes. I know where point E goes, but I don't know where, where point F goes, right? How do I know where the C is? Well, if I put the sharp part on the B and I measure to where C is, and then I do the same thing with E, I can find out where that point should go. 
that's where a point F should go. Then I take my straight edge and I connect the vertex going through that point and I now duplicated this angle. They both have congruent degrees. This and this are equal. Okay. What if I wanted to bisect an angle? What if I wanted to bisect an angle? So we need to start with an angle. We'll call this angle A. So in order to bisect angle A, put the sharp part on the A, make an arc. I'm sorry. Okay. Now we're going to call this B and C. Then what you do is you now put the sharp part on B, make an arc. Sharp part on C, make an arc. And where those arcs intersect, that point, you connect with your vertex. And this angle is now bisected into two equal measurements. And I'll call that D. So now, angle DAB is congruent to angle CAD. And that is everything that we need to know for today on copying and bisecting segments and angles. Have a great day.